Hey there, welcome to the 8th session. In the previous session, we have learned how to use the inline fragment. In this session, we will learn about the uh, what is variable and how to use it. Till now, in the query, we are passing the login name in the parameter for this field. But in the production, we cannot use this. Instead of this, we need to use the variable in the query. We can pass the variable from this section. Variables are just like the data passing the body for the post request in the rest. If we pass this as a variable, then we do not need to build the query by string concatenation or the interpolation each time. We just need to update the dynamic part of the variable section only. This section contains the dictionary of the variable that we are passing in the query. To pass the variable in query, we need to specify it here in the parenthesis. Variable name prefix with the dollar sign and the variable name use the colon to specify the type of the variable. In our case, it will be a type of string. So write the string and it's a required parameter. So we need to use the exclamatory sign. Now instead of this row string, we need to use the variable name. And update this variable section. Here you can see that autocomplete show the variable name from the our query. Write the login name here. Writing my login name here. Click on the execute button. Here we got the result as per the login name pass in the variable that is my user. Let me change this name to the entry and execute this again. Here we got the details for the entry. Here this variable is a required variable. In GraphQL, we can also create the optional variable with the default values too. For this, we need to remove this exclamatory sign, which represent the required in the GraphQL and specify the default value for this. I am setting the my login name as the default value. Let execute this query again. Here we got the data for the entry and remove this from the variable section. Here we got the data for the my user, which is set as a default value. Let's see what we are learning in this session. Variables are used to set the dynamic value to the argument in the query. Those variables will provide the separate dictionary along with the query. We can also create a variable with the default value. Here is the query that we have created. It has the optional variable with the default value. If you have any doubt, feel free to contact me. Have a nice day.